10 till 8 a.m. on May 9th. It is an absolutely gorgeous morning here in Southern Oregon. The rest of the band is still crashed out. I was the last one to get back to the motel, but I'm the first one up. <laughs> no sweat. So I'm just going to stroll around, get my morning exercise, before my bandmates wake up. Good stuff. 9.45 a.m. Alan and I are now leaving the motel to head to our next show in North Bend, Oregon, on the coast. Robin and Evo will be following behind. I guess it takes them a bit longer to get going in the morning. Alan and I, you know, we get up and say, hell with it, let's just go. How are you feeling this morning, Alan? A little tired, but I'll take a nap this afternoon when we get to the hotel, mm -hmm. and I'll be ready to go tonight. All right. How are you feeling about last night's show? Last night's show, I think we sounded great. It was a lot of fun. It would be nice to have a few more people there. Mm -hmm. The people that were there were really cool. So, yeah, it was good. A good start. All right, and uh, what would you predict for tonight? Predicting anything better? I have no idea what will happen tonight. Okay. Maybe it'll be better. You guys said we're getting paid 200 bucks. So. Okay, there we, there we go. Well, right off the bat, we're getting paid 200 bucks. That makes it better. I'm going to predict there will be more people because I understand this place is a bit more of a restaurant sort of thing instead of a yeah. standard club. And, you know, it's a Thursday night instead of a Wednesday, and we're going on a little bit earlier. I think we're playing from 8 to 10, is that it? 8 to 10. Okay. So, yes, indeed. I'm expecting a better night tonight. Yes, indeed. Uh, could you please move over? I need to get past. Noon on May 9th. We're on 42 West, headed towards Coos Bay, while right on the Oregon coast. Still got another 30 miles so before we get there. And the entire journey from Medford to here, it is nothing but trees. It is beautiful. Beautiful hills just covered with trees. Ah, it's gorgeous. I love it. Great stuff. Quarter till 2 p.m. on May 9th. I'm strolling through Coos Bay, Oregon, killing time until uh, our motel room is available. Coos Bay, Oregon. This place is right at the junction of lumber country and nautical country. And uh, you can see it in the distance there. There's that big old cargo ship and a big old stack of what well, I'm guessing is sawdust or something. So yes indeed, lumber country and nautical country intersect right here. I think the culture of the town, wait a minute. See, there go the lumber trucks. I think the culture of this town leads more towards the nautical than the lumber. So when I stroll through downtown, you know, I see a lot of uh, seafood restaurants and stuff. But there's not a lot in the downtown area to indicate the lumber country. It's definitely here, though. I mean, you can't smell it, but I can definitely smell the lumber. And it smells quite good. It feels quite good. It's a, it's a gorgeous day. It's about 70 degrees. I could stroll all day. I'm feeling real good and I'm looking forward to good things tonight. Yes, indeed. 5.30 Five, p.m. on May 9th. I, I just woke up from a nap and I'm getting my suit on to get to the show. Robin and Evo have just now showed up. They just finally got here. We got here three hours earlier. Robin, <laughs> how you doing? How you doing, Robin? Oh, oh okay. Yeah, hi. <laughs> Do you know we passed some... We went to a place called Remote... Remote... Uh, Lane, and there was a place called Remote Store. It was closed, old gas pump, rusted over. Nobody was there. You don't want to go there. Do you remember? Did you, did you see the other signs on the way? What was it called? Yeah. Suicide Circle mm -hmm. Drive. Yes, and yes, I remember that. Hard Cash, Hard Cash Road. I was like, no way, this is crazy. Such an interesting area, though. Yep. It was really beautiful. Wow, that was great. Sure was. I mean, you can't beat this kind of ride. It's so scenic. Okay, what, what are you expecting from tonight? Are you expecting tonight to be better you know, or worse I than last night? I think family, it's burgers and pizza. The guy who owns Holding the place, down. he is the controller of the PA. Evo said that he's in charge of it, so he will be controlling the volume for us. But, you know, 8 to 10, it's like family hours gig. Get your brushes we'll get home early, get early sleep. 
and then we can kick it. We're going to get up earlier tomorrow and just kind of maybe, I don't know, take a walk there or something. I need to get some exercise. Yeah, I did yeah, that. I, I walked four I miles today. I it's feel like, uh, did you drive over or did you drive over? No, Alan drove the whole way. Yeah. Oh, you did? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll drive up to Fulton, I guess. Yeah. Okay. 10 till 6 p.m. Evo was trying to park, <laughs> to park in the van. Evo. Yeah. Star Trek log. Took you a while to get here, didn't it? Yeah, that, that thing is uh, that thing is slow. But it, when, you, when you when you drive the van, it's all about it's all about the journey. It's not about the destination. So it's kicking back, enjoying the go in a remote uh, remote lane and uh, hard cash. And su <laughs> suicide circle. You saw that too, huh? <laughs> yep. Hey, we made it past that. <laughs> we're all still here. Yeah, okay. so we're, we're happy to be here. Now, okay, now it's time to get some dip. Okay, now, and uh, what's, what's your prediction for the night? Is tonight going to be better or worse than last night? Tonight will be better. Last night was a good, good start. Definitely a good start. Probably the second set was not as... Uh, it was a little lackluster, but the first set was good. punched. So. It was 50-50. Yeah. All right. Well, well, let's go for like 85, 95%. So come on along while we go check out uh, the Liberty Pub. Do you and, have a stain uh, on your yeah. jacket, Alex? Do you have a stain on your jacket? Not while I'm filming. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. yes. Okay, after consulting with the mirror and everything, <laughs> and the light, they've now ascertained that the stain was just a trick of the light. There was nothing wrong with my suit. Do you think I'd go on stage if I didn't look Very perfect? Nice Come on, folks, you know who we're talking oh, about here. Absolutely. Come on. <laughs> yes, indeed. All right, 6 p.m. This is the Liberty Pub. See the Liberty Pub. And they've got us featured in the window there, amalgamation. Yes. And they've got us on their board. Hungry will sell you food. Thirsty will sell you beer. Lonely will sell you beer. Tonight, Amalgamation, original rock from San Francisco. APM, five dollars, twenty-one and over. Good stuff. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Let's stroll around. Welcome to live. How are we doing? Wow. I like it. I like it. It's a big old place. It actually seems brighter here at night. We got big screens since the ball game's on. We've got uh, dance hall. We've got look at this stage. Big, big old high risers. I mean, the stage is almost waist high on me. And then there's this riser as well. So both of them together, with this stage is chest high on me. So, yeah, how about that? And the uh, fake Stanley Cup because we're not. There you go. Yeah, I like it. 10 after 10 p.m. on May 9th. We've just finished our two-hour set at the Liberty Pub. And as expected, it was an improvement over last night, that's for sure. The crowd was a bit smaller than expected. There was you know, three or four dozen. But that's okay, because they were really having a good time. They really liked us. And the owner of the place was super friendly, super courteous to us. You know, in addition to the free drinks we expected, he also gave us free dinner, and that was cool. He also promoted this show very, very well. He not only put flyers up in the windows of his place, he put flyers up in the windows of nearby businesses as well. And he, you know, linked us on Facebook and all that. And late in the, in the set, he actually apologized to us that there weren't even more people than there were. He has nothing to apologize for. Even if there was nobody in the place, he has nothing to apologize for because he did all the promoting that a club owner could be expected to do for a band. So no, indeed, we are not unhappy with him or with the place or with the night at all, especially because we got paid very well. So yes, this was a successful evening. Now, load up the gear, back to the hotel, crash out at a reasonably good hour, because tomorrow we've got to drive, I don't know how far it is, I'm going to say maybe between 200 and 250 miles to Oregon City, Oregon, a suburb of Portland, for tomorrow night's show. I'm having a great time here on the Majestic Tour 2013, yes! 11 p.m. on May 9th. We're still packing up after the show, we're just about ready to leave. But I want to show you something, okay? This is the van that uh, singer Robin Lovejoy and guitarist Ivo Miach own and ride in. Look, look at this thing. Inside this thing, you got a bed, you got a fully functional sink. Wow, I want this thing. 
because you know for all the times I go on five, six, seven, eight hour drives I should take a video of and stay overnight somewhere <laughs> you know I wouldn't I wouldn't need you know motels or anything because th this place is awesome I want this thing I'm jealous so